Greetings, and welcome to my little tutorial on how to take a 3D model with Visemes or shape keys into Unity, convert it to a VRM, and then into compatible software. Before we begin, this is not a modeling tutorial. You'll need to already know how to use Blender at this point. You'll also need a basic understanding of Unity, or you'll need to follow along carefully. First, you'll need to download the following. VRChat SDK 2. Unity and Unity 2018 version 420F1 and Uni VRM. All links will be in the description below. Alright, let's get started. As you can see, my model is ready. Completely um, ready to be converted into a VRM. So, what we do first is we file, export, FBX, which I've already done. So, next step. Now, you'll need to go to Unity or you need to sub and new project you need to open up the uh, 2018 4 20 f1 i already have this ready to go so here we are as you can see this is all the basic stuff up here this is what it starts up with if you're familiar with unity easy if you're not you get two things in your sample scene anyways first you need to go to assets import package custom package. Now, um, you'll need to go to where your packages are stored. And mine are stored with my animation projects. So, go there. Go to my... Uh, go. And you'll want to hit and install the VRChat SDK, which it'll look like this. And you don't have to un... Um, Unzip any of these. Do this. You uh, you want to select all, and then import. I already have it imported, so I don't have to worry about that. And you'll want to do that. You want to do the same thing with the uh, Uni VRM too, or as well. Sorry. Um, and you'll know these work when after um, everything is loaded in. You'll have. Um, all these down here. Say VRChat, VRM, shaders, blah, blah, blah. It'll be in your packages and your assets. And you also have these top bars up here. One says VRChat SDK. And one has VRM. Now, next thing you'll want to do is find where you stuck your uh, FBX of the character. And you'll want to drag and drop that into your scene. I've already done that, so this is what it'll look like when you click on it. This will be your um, FBX, and everything looks fine. All my uh, assets have been imported correctly already. If yours are not, click back on your FBX, go to materials, make sure everything here is mapped correctly. This might take you a moment, and that's fine. Um, if it says extract textures or materials, like that, you create a new, it'll uh, ask you where you want to save it. You save it in your project. You uh, name it something that you won't forget. Like mine is faded, ja faded jacket materials. Um, anyways, you'll want to go to rig. Uh, like the animation type is humanoid. Great from this model. Hit configure. It'll ask you to save. Go ahead and save. Um, it'll put your character in a T-pose. If there's something uh, incorrect with your T-pose, go ahead and fix it by clicking on the proper bone. And then, you know, doing this or that or whatever, whatever you feel f uh, need to fix. Honestly, I like everything here. It's fine. Um, other thing is to go to the head. Go to the jawbone. Make sure there's nothing attached to it. And then just delete that and leave it um, all, all good and well. Hit apply. It'll take a moment. Done. It'll set you back to your original scene. And now we will select on the uh, actual model through the sample scene right here. The uh, upmost or topmost one. And we will hit VRM. We will hit freeze T pose. 
And what that'll do is it'll create a normalized version and it'll uh, do that, or it'll T pose it as well. The normalized version is its own uh, model, as you can see. And we don't want that. So we're going to delete that. And go back to our uh, original. And what I forgot to do in the beginning was uh, set it all in the uh, center. So to send it on the center, hit position and type in zero on X, Y, and Z. And then for scale, that is all your preference. Um, my character is about six foot ish, and I think I found out this um, setting works for me a 0.1 for everything. Anyways, we will go back to we will select our topmost BRM, and then we're gonna export humanoid. If you have an issue and it asks you for an animator, you will add, go to add component, hit animator. Um, mine already has the thing there, but then you will select the uh, avatar. So VRM, export humanoid. Um, pose freeze is okay, animator is okay, and the mesh size is okay. Now we'll title it. Just gonna call mine Faded Jacket. Uh, version one. I am the author. Um, you can select all these other things, but this isn't going to be leaving, you know, your own personal desktop, so no worries. Um, export it into your project. It's very important. Save. Okay, now all I like to do is I like to take my existing model, drag him to the left. I will go into my um, project here. You'll see that there is the VRM. Now we're going to take the VRM and we're going to drag it into our project. Sometimes this takes a moment, sometimes it's fairly quick. Alright, even with a good computer, it can take a moment. Um, so here's our VRM. It is now a prefab. Our VRM right here is also a prefab now. But our regular model is fine. Anyways, we'll drag our new asset into here. We will position him exactly where he needs to go. Oh, you can double click on this and it just zooms right in if you have any issues like zooming in. Now, because of the AirChat SDK stuff, it's already given us, helped us done our scripting and all that fun stuff. Well, it's done it all for us. It's nice. Um, what we're going to want to work on now, everything here is fine since you're not going to have to worry about like visuals, look at head, blah blah blah. I don't have to worry about any of that, thank god. Um, we're going to go to our blend shapes. And in the blend shapes, you're going to want to click one. Um, because they do not they do not um, appear automatically. You have to do them yourself. Your blend shape should be your basic do not touch shape. This is how you also create new shapes. Um, you want to create a new shape like um, you would just hit create, save, and now we have this weird blend shape here that we can do anything with. You can see on in the bottom in our corner, we can make it do whatever we want. Um, anyway, we're not going to keep that because it's ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you're blanking left and right and E and everything else is done the way you prefer to have it done. Mine are already pre-done because I've done this project a few times. They're not like super great or anything, but it is what it is. 
Anyways, once you have all your blend shapes done, you're going to want to click on your uppermost. Or, yeah, your uppermost. Again, just like when we created the VRM. You're going to want to export it again. You can keep everything else the same. And save that. Now you can minimize this, because we are done with the Unity asset, or Unity asset part. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to open up VMagic Mirror. And I already have some settings ready for my um, avatar and all that fun stuff. You're going to want to load file on PC. And you're going to go to your... Um, uh, ERM that you just created. This is one I created earlier, but it's done the exact same way. I just have different settings. And you'll want to like, load the character. And voila! There they are. Now you're going to want to go to your settings windows. And background can be anything you want, any color you want. Uh, I think you can even put in uh, images, but let's not get into that. Um, you're going to want to mess around with these settings and everything. Your motion is going to be the lip sync and then whatever um, microphone you have. If you want it to track your face, you can have it track your face, but it does get a little um, wonky. I like the blink adjust by head motion. Space motion where webcam is not used because that way my the character looks more alive and he actually does all that fun stuff. You can have the um the look target at the user for the mouse, or you can have it just not look at anything and it just kind of does whatever it wants, which is actually pretty okay. So either mouse or none is probably your best bet. That's with the eye motion scale. Um, if you have a fun value, is one of the um blend shapes. It'll be default, and it'll always have that. I don't have one, so my mouth is always closed and nothing, you know, crazy happens. You can even have the hands and arms typing if you want, and you can adjust all this fun stuff. I prefer not to because sometimes the shoulders just do not like to uh, do all that fun stuff. Um, scale and period. We're hearing the weight motion. You can enable it or you can disable it. If you disable it, it becomes less lively. If you enable it, um, it's a little more lively. But always keep them on max. If you don't, you get some fucked up shit. I mean, <laughs> like, what is this? Anyways, <laughs> um, layout will let you do the um, whole camera setting. And then you can say, I have a preset saved. Um, you can have visual keyboard and mouse pad and all that fun stuff if you want it to be enabled. And you can even have it through, um, it even has a controller function too. Like if they were holding a controller. Um, your effects are your lighting quality, your shaders, your bloom. If you have movable parts, um, the wind can be enabled. But that, you have to have the parts enabled. I do not. Um, these are just for, um, like, if you want to show a joyous emotion, you know, they're emotes, basically. Not bad. Anyways, streaming, or most other programs that require, um, recording software, you want to hit transparent window. Boom. Nice. We are transparent. Now, I'm going to minimize that, because in order to have Magic Mirror open, you have to have, the, you have, to have at least one of these open. Actually, don't need that part. And then I'm going to drag the um, OBS screen over, and it's going to look a little funny for a minute. Anyways, I um, kind of goofed up when I was recording the second part because it wasn't showing everything that needed to be done. So what we'll have to do is we'll go to, uh, to capture um, Magic Mirror. We'll have to go to Game Capture. We'll go into our properties. See, we already have Magic Mirror selected. If it's not there, you need to select it. Um, and whenever you first select it, it's going to be 
uh, all black around the borders, and whatever you do that, show, um, show up like this. And that is not what we want. So while we're in properties, instead of using a green screen or anything, you can just hit allow transparency. And boom. Done. Perfect. Amazing. Look at us. We're beautiful. Um, see? And there's, there we are again. So beautiful. So sexy. Anyways. Um, that's about it. Uh, if this helped you at all, uh, like, share, subscribe, whatever. I don't give a shit. Um, or follow me on Twitch. And speaking of, I will leave a one minute clip of one of my recent streams where you can see a more advanced version of this character in action. So yeah, I will see everyone later. Let's go! Whole team! Final team! <laughs> oh. You are the Apex Champions. <laughs> nice. Sorry. That was good.